Have you eaten anything today? Many of you easily enjoy your breakfast or lunch without hesitation. That's not the case for two-year-old Abigail. A rare disease causes her to basically stick to a keto diet, and it causes developmental delays. As we continue our celebration of hope, WTVA's Daniela Orpeza shows us how the Regional Rehab Center helped Abigail go from nonverbal to speaking and using sign language. She is the happiest two-year-old you've ever met. Nikki Kulovitz is her daughter's biggest fan and advocate. Abigail has pyruvate dehydrogenase deficiency, or PDCD. It's a disease where her body does not um, metabolize carbohydrates, so instead they build up this to lactic acid, causing developmental delays, um, seizures, and um, lactic acidosis, things like that. To explain it in simpler terms, Nikki says carbohydrates are like a poison to Abigail. It causes brain um, damage and seizures and in many cases death. 90% of children with PDCD pass away before they're four years old. PDCD has a wide spectrum. Nikki says Abigail is on the more mild side. She started speech therapy at the Regional Rehab Center in January. She was nonverbal at the time. She now has about 50 to 100 words that she says. She knows about 25 sign language signs. Um, she started communicating in two word sentences. She has come a long ways with her speech language development. Is this stuck? Help. You need help? And she recently said her first three-word sentence. Mama, shoes, help. She wanted her shoes on to go with her daddy to go get pizza. She definitely had a desire to communicate. She's got a lot to say. Abigail works one-on-one -on -one with Cami Riddle. Therapy looks a lot like playtime. While Abigail learns to communicate, Riddle is learning as well. She had never heard of PDCD. Just thinking, how do you prepare a meal for the family when your child's restrictions are so severe. Like bread, milk, and pasta, and anything with sugar. Abigail's speech therapy costs nothing at the Regional Rehab Center, giving the Kulovitz family one less thing to worry about. Nikki instead fights to raise awareness to PDCD. She's on the board of the Hope for PDCD Foundation. Most recently, she met with U.S. Senator Roger Wicker in Washington, D.C. While we were there, we asked him to help us get it on the national newborn screening on the RUSP, which is a recommended panel of diseases that um, each state has different laws in place. And Mississippi is one of those states that has a law in place that they have to test what's on the recommended panel for the newborn screenings. Not all states do that. Daniela Oropesa, WTVA 9 News. This year's Celebration of Hope Telethon airs this Sunday, November 12th. You can watch it on ABC WTVA starting at 1130 that morning or catch it right here on NBC starting at 2 that afternoon.